it's Shawnee. Welcome back. So I am going to talk to you about the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. Now, in all honesty, I did a video earlier, but I was just, my mood was bad, and I feel like it came through on the video, so I wanted to do this over and give you the full experience. So, this palette recently came out, what was it, last week, and I got it uh, yesterday in the mail. So, let me tell you a little bit about it. Now, it is a nude palette, Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona describes it as like a cool tone palette. There are 15 shades in here, very much like her um, other midi palettes. One thing that is different about this palette is she has introduced a new formula. I think it's called like her sparkling wet formula. And I will point out to you which ones those are. Um, and the packaging is pretty much the same as all of her other midi size palettes. You have the holes here. You can use a pin or some kind of small sharp object. Be careful. Don't use like a knife or something. And you can pop the shades out or you can go ahead and use a magnet to take them out this way. Now the packaging is a little different from her other palettes. Uh, there's this sort of clear plexiglass that sort of makes it kind of 3D. Apparently it was designed by Natasha herself. So let me show you in comparison like here is the glam palette and you can see it's just the top here but with the I need a nude you've just got this clear kind of plastic over the front so that's pretty cool now I know a lot of people have been like oh it's just like the glam palette or whatever so let me show you the glam and the I need a nude together so the I Need a Nude is on the bottom and Glam is on top. Now I do think these are like complementary maybe. I want to say that the I Need a Nude is just lighter. The other thing I noticed is it could also be the backing. So if you look at all of her midi palettes until now, they all have this black casing or backing. I'm not quite sure about the pastel nor the yucca palette but this one has a white backing and I do believe that sort of tricks our eyes into like seeing things differently so I wonder if this had a black backing if the shades would look any different um so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swatch these really quickly I'll swatch maybe the mattes together the shimmers and the wet formula together and then I will do a look maybe because the look on my eyes is actually from this palette now what I noticed was that there was some fallout um, I do know that with the new formula she suggests um, you can use a wet brush <clears throat> excuse me you can use a wet brush or your finger and so I kind of like went between those options uh, so I don't know if that affected the amount of fallout I had or anything but let me go ahead and swatch these and then uh, I'll tell you more about what I'm thinking here are all of the mats. There are, looks like seven in the palette, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these are all the creamy mats. This first one here is called Stone and it is a matte, light, medium, warm taupe. The next one here is called Vague and it is a matte, medium, warm, dusty rose. The next one is called Silhouette and it is a matte coffee bean brown. Next, we have Fair, which is a matte, light, misty rose. Then we have Wit, and that is a matte, light, warm rose. Next, we have Tender, and that is a matte, medium taupe. And lastly, we have Mesh, and that is a matte, light, dusty rose. Now, on me, I think these do look a little dusty and ashy I mean but she does describe them as being like um, a dusty rose a taupe which is gonna look a little light on my skin tone um, she's got a lot of taupe taupes in there a lot of dusty roses 
and like misty rose. So it's not surprising that these don't show up like with super intense pigment, but that's something to know if you're wanting to um, consider this palette in terms of your skin tone and the way things might show up. So let me move on to the next formula. So here are the two metallics and then the rest are, um, these six here are the sparkling foiled or the wet formula. And then actually Actually, these six down here are those same shades, but with a spritz of setting spray. Okay, so let me go over these to make sure that they make sense. So the first one here is Whisper, and that is um, described as a metallic light nude pink. The next is Tavertine, and that is described as a metallic soft amber. So those two are the metallics in the palette. You can kind of see that Tavertine doesn't show up very much on me, but it's there. This will look good if you're like one of those soft sparkle kind of people. Okay, and then the first shade here is Ella, and this is a sparkling foiled warm fawn. Then we have uh, Delilah, and this is a sparkling wet effect silver brown. Next, we have Muse, and this is a sparkling foiled champagne. Then we have Filigree, and this is a sparkling foiled medium neutral brown. We have Sheen, which is a glossy wet effect warm champagne and then we have Mia which is a sparkling wet effect icy pink so those are dry swatches and then these are me adding um, some setting spray to my fingers and then swatching okay so the swatches with the setting spray we have Ella Delilah Muse Filigree Sheen Mia. Sorry, Mia. So those are all of the metallics and the new special formula. Formulas, I guess I should say. So let me swatch everything on one arm and yeah, then you'll be able to see all of the colors together. Okay, uh, let's get a better angle. These are all of the shades here, all of the mattes, the metallics, and the sparkling wet formula e why do i feel like okay can you see those maybe it's just i have a long arm <laughs> but here are all of the shades what i notice is that the mattes are fairly light and a little ashy on me and the shimmers are really nice but i feel like they are um, like softer shimmers in terms of not having a huge impact but I think that's fairly normal for like a, a neutral regular kind of palette from Natasha. I think in some ways I'm used to being able to use some of the more um the what are those things called the singles from some of the indie brands that have like a bit more boom pal you know um but this is I think a really nice everyday palette for I think someone who is of a lighter skin tone. I'm not quite sure that I like these ashy colors and I think, oh, not that one, but I think mostly the mattes are ones that I don't necessarily like. I feel like I could find some mattes that fit a little bit better for my skin tone. The other thing that I notice is that the sparkles have more of um, like fallout. It could be using it on a dry arm, a dry finger, but I did feel like I had to scrub and like soap and everything to get the shadows off rather than just being able to use a makeup wipe. Um, so that is something to think about. So what I'll do, I will again show you the look that I currently have on and then maybe I will mix um, the glam palette to do another look uh, or maybe one of the other palettes and I'm thinking I might try to dupe this palette also. Let me know if you want that. I might do it anyway. Okay so here we go. 
So like I mentioned, this is the current look I have on that I did, um, the look that I did with this palette. I need a nude. So let me bring you in a little bit closer. I did use some of that darker shade, the darkest one in the palette, Silhouette. And then I went in with a couple of the shimmers. Um, I also tried to use them wet, and I think they gave a bit more Boom Pow with um, the shades wet. I will say, like I said again, I do notice more fallout than I usually do with shimmers and stuff. So I don't know what that's about. But I'm gonna take this look off really quickly. Um, do I have time? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna take this off and try another look. I might add another palette in there just to kind of compensate for the lighter um, shimmers. Oh, you know what I'm wondering about? Huh. I'll think about that later. Okay. So here we go again. Okay, I tried to take as much of the eye makeup off that I can. I really don't want to take the rest of my makeup off because I'm actually just on a break from work. I'm just trying to hurry up and do this. Um, okay, so earlier I used for the eye look I just had on, the primer that I used is, oh, behind me <laughs> I put stuff behind me and lose it I used her uh, work and set in the shade nude I use that as a primer but I think this next look I'm going to use Pat McGrath's intensifies artistry wand so almost to the end of this also want to see how it works on top of this because this just is a different texture of a primer. Now on uh, Natasha Denona's website, it does say for like more opacity with the shimmers and the new formula, you can use a densely packed brush. So something like this, this is from Sydney Grace. Now I got the Sydney Grace, Sydney Grace, um, brushes before they like redid them and have the numbers on them so I can't tell you what number it is but that's like a densely packed brush or you could use your finger or a damp brush Said my phone girl okay so I think what do I want to go in with I know my friend said that they really liked Muse so let's try Muse as a shade but I might have used this already but that's okay So it applies well, that's pretty. I actually like it over a non-color base. Um, let's go in with this brush here. So you see that? That's really pretty. For y'all folks who like the, you know, one or two and done shadow looks, I think you would like this. So that's one. I'm gonna pop over to the um, Glam palette. I feel like the shimmers are different in this one. Uh, let's go with this shade here. It's kind of like the same tone, I think. Huh. So what I'm noticing is, wait, what is Muse? What did I say that was? I think that's one of the new formulas. I'm looking on her website really quickly. Muse, Muse, hey, come on girl, help me out. Okay, Muse is one of the sparkling foiled champagne shades, while this shade here from the Glam palette, I think it's just a full on um, shimmer. Uh, so I feel like this one has more opacity than the Muse one. So what I will do is, I'm going to spray my brush. I'm going to put Muse on the brush. And then 
just spray it. And then the best is to like tap it. Girl, did I spray it? My bad. Hold on, I don't even think any of the spray got on it. What's happening? What is happening? Okay. There we go. Okay, I feel like that that changed it a bit, right? I think I like it with a wet brush. Yeah, I feel like that definitely changed it. I don't know if you can see the two textures of the glam and then the, uh, what's this called? I need a nude. Honestly, I think I like the texture of the glam more. This just feels, the one in, the ones in the, I need a nude just feel glitterly, glitterly, <laughs> glittery for some reason. Maybe like chunkier. Well, I think the ones in her other palettes are just a little bit smoother. I do kind of like this different texture thing that I've got going on though. That's kind of cool. So I'm just adding more of that shade back. I'm trying to see, like I know a lot of us talk about texture on our lids. I'm trying to see if there's a difference between how the regular shimmer is and the um, foily one. I think there's a little bit of difference. I don't mind if shimmer or a texture is like more obvious on my eye, um, but I do wanna make sure to tell you. So, here are both of the formulas, I'm like winking at you a little bit. And let me try out the mattes with this. Now, like I said, a lot of these mattes are kind of light. So I think I will use them in conjunction with the mattes from, um, the glam palette because there's a just a bit more depth there so I do know for the mattes they suggest using a fluffy brush um you can also use a dense brush and kind of pack the matte on but I'm gonna go ahead with a fluff, fluffy brush this is a little smaller of a fluffy brush can I say fluffy brush 10 times fast this is the mini booster from Sonia G so I'm going to go in first with this shade here and I'm just going to put it right here. This isn't a super dark shade, but it's going to darken it just a little bit, which is what I want. And then I'm going to go into the I Need a Nude palette and go into this Deep Shade Silhouette. This is the darkest one in the palette. Now they do say to tap off the excess of the powder, the matte shades. I'm going to pull it out a little bit because Natasha Denona seems to like that sort of blown out um, wing kind of look. And I'm going to pull it up a little bit. Okay. Go back into glam. And I'm going to use this really dark one. That shade there. I'm hopping back and forth in between palettes. I'm sorry. Um, so maybe we want to use 
different brush and one of the lighter shades to go like on top here I don't want to go too light because I think too light will be ashy I think what I'm going to do is to combine vague and tender mainly a good amount of tender because I want to keep it sort of on the cool side I feel like this palette is like on the warmer side of cool, you know? Yeah, there's like a lot of effing fallout, dude. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's that new formula. Okay, let me clean things up and um, do this eye to hopefully match. And then I will come back and tell okay. you what. Here's the look. Don't feel like it's much different from the look I did before. Um, one thing, I did go back in and I tried to use the um, shade from the I Need a Nude as a topper. And I think that's the trick. So, listen, what I'm going to do... <laughs> I have time for maybe one more look. I'm going to wash everything off because still I do feel like there's a lot of fallout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a look and I'm going to use the special wet shimmery shades or whatever as a topper. Now, generally, I'm not a fan of toppers, but that's what they are kind of giving me. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'm going to try to scrub all of this off real quick. Um... Okay, my evening clients are used to me being a little frazzled. So let me do that. And what I'm going to do is pull out one of the other palettes. I'm not even going to worry about the mattes in this one. I'm going to pull out one of the other palettes and then use those shades as a topper. I will be right back. Face is washed, but still there's some glittery, shimmery stuff going on. Just saying. Okay, so let's go back in and use the Pat McGrath Artistry Wand and um, I think I'm going to take the My Dream palette. I feel like My Dream and Retro are the ones that are great for darker skin. Let me use a clean brush here. So I'm going to go in... Huh. I think I'll try something different. I'm gonna go in with Familia and put that all over the lid. Let's go away. There we go. This is a nice, like, rich brown kind of shade. Just throwing it on there, y'all. Not trying to do anything super special. Okay, so now let's go in with one or two or three of the new formula from the I Need a Nude. What do I want to put on top of this? Well, we used Muse quite a bit, so maybe we'll continue on that journey just because... We've used it and we see how it is. I'm going to wet my finger and then Okay. I like it a lot more as a topper. Okay. Oh, my eyes are like, girl, what you doing? Let's go in on a brush. Okay. And then, um, let's see. I have a towel down here that I keep using. Um, let's then go in with this shade Vague. This is still from the I Need a Nude palette. And let's put that up here. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right, let me do this eye, and again, <laughs> we will come back. I'm sorry I'm taking you through all these trials and tribulations, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, here's the finished look. So, let's talk about the Natasha Denona I Need a New Palette. What I've realized after using this, I think I've done a total of like three looks, I don't need a nude, or at least I don't need this nude. We could all use some nudes in our life, but this one is not my favorite Natasha Denona palette. Now, I think a lot of people are loving Loving it right now. For me, I don't feel like I'm enjoying the new formula as much. And I think that's mainly because I like a, a very opaque shimmer where it's just like, it's just like you can see it, you know. These to me seem on my skin to work better as toppers, and I don't really like toppers. I, I like that opacity. Um, I think it's pretty. I think you can get super pretty soft looks with it, but I just, I'm not that much of a fan. That doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and get it. Like, you might love it because we all have different, um, preferences the other thing is that these mattes are super light except for this one silhouette that's the deepest one in the palette this is really reminding me of like was it the new nude palette from Huda I don't have that one anymore I decluttered it um because of how light it was but even that one I feel like was a little bit deeper than this palette I don't find that this one is as dark skin friendly as like the my dream palette which has a lot of deeper shades or even the retro palette that also has some deeper shades like there are a couple of light ones in here um but i think relatively good for deeper skin not feeling like this one is as deep skin friendly um Except for if you like a certain look. If you like a very subtle, I'm just gonna put a little bit of shimmer on kind of look, this might work for you. But also the other thing that I'm thinking is that if you have some indie shadows, those, and you want that like boom pow, I feel like you can go the indie brand route, like with Davina, with Cleona, with, Copacetic, Pretties for Your Face, Adept. Um, yeah, I think you can go Glaminatrix. I think you can go that route and just get a couple of singles and even some mattes or the mattes that you probably already have in your collection. Because y'all know we have these mattes. Come on now, we have these mattes, right? And we have them in the tones that work best for our skin tone. So if you get this palette, let me know your experience. Let me know if you think I should try it a different way. I'm totally open to that. Um, but let me know what you're thinking, if you're planning to get it, if you're not planning to get it, if you like it, if you've purchased it, just give me an idea of what you're thinking. But for me right now, I don't need this nude. Okay, hopefully some of this was helpful. I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. Please make sure to like the video with that thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave me a comment and tell me what you're thinking about this palette. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.